Hi again everyone, this is Miss Emily and welcome to another Crafternoon. So today we are going to be making these dandelion paintings and we're going to use paper towel rolls or toilet paper rolls. So I hope you gathered up your supplies um, and let's get started. Okay, so uh, we're gonna do one painting with dark paper and one with light paper. So let's start with the one with dark paper. I'm just gonna put that one to the side. And you're going to need paints, different color paints. I'm gonna use white for the first one. I'm gonna grab a pair of scissors and your roll. So I have one paper towel roll and one toilet paper roll. So what you're gonna do is start cutting really thin strips into your roll. Try to make them very thin without them breaking though. And you don't have to worry about them being super even. And when you're cutting, you want to go up, let me just show you really quick, about like this. So it's a little over an inch. I know some of mine got a little longer, but that's okay. I'm gonna go all the way around. You might need an adult to help you with this. Okay, so I have mine all cut. And now you're gonna fan it out. Just pull the pieces back. Like this, I'm gonna bend it a little bit. Use your hand and just press. See, just like that. You can put it down, you put a fan or flower. Okay. Now you grab your paint. I'm gonna start with white. Now you're gonna need a little bit of paint for this. Not well, you're gonna need not a lot, but not just a little bit. Let's go like this. Okay, and then you're going to take the piece you just cut and dip it in your paint. Try to make sure you get into the middle, kind of twirl it around a little bit and you check it. So you see some of my little parts didn't get any paint like this one here. I'm just gonna go back in, press it in a little bit. It might get a little bit messy, but don't worry, that's fine. It's just paint, you can always wash it off. about good just like that get your paper and you just kind of stamp it down there you go and you turn stamp just turn it around like that and there's one dandelion and I'm just gonna do one more right down here Go around. Okay. And you know what? I think I forgot to get a paintbrush for this, so be right back. All right, 
we want to paint on the stems. So I have this really tiny, tiny paintbrush. I'm not sure you can even see it, but you can also use a toothpick. That works too. Get a little bit of paint. You're gonna draw a circle in the middle of your dandelion flower. Just like that, and I'm actually going to make it a little bit broken so it's not completely filled in. And I'm gonna do one right over here. Let's do a little circle. Okay. And now, since this one, you can see the lines didn't quite make it into the middle. I can just touch it up with my paintbrush. Just pull some of these in a little bit. And you always want to go towards the center of the circle. Just like that. Okay. And now we're going to paint the stem. Grab a little bit more paint and figure out which direction you want it to come from. You'll want both of them to come from the same general direction. So I'm actually gonna make them come from the corner down here. Start with this one up top. Need a little more paint. And you just draw a line down. I'm gonna fill this in a little bit more. Make it a little bit darker, a little thicker. And I'm going to do the other one, just right here from the center. Pull it down. There we go. And do you guys like to make a wish, blow on the dandelion and make a wish? No, that's fun. So we can just make a couple of them like they're floating away. It's just like this, a couple dots, lines. It's floating away like this. Paintbrush, there you go. And all right. So there is your dandelion painting. It's really simple and it doesn't require very many materials. All right. So next I'm going to show you one with colors. Just get the white paper. I'm gonna do it on a white paper. And I have another one that I already cut out. It's right here. So you don't have to watch me cut out more again. So I'm gonna get this. And I'm using pink and purple paint for this, but you can use whatever color you want. Shake up my paint a little bit. Now I'm going to start with the lighter color using pink first. And take my paper towel roll or my toilet paper roll. Just dip it in just like before. Make sure all of the little strips have got paint on them. Okay, you see there? Whoops, oh no, got some paint on there. It's all right, got too much paint. I'm just gonna go right on top of those splatters and go around. And I'm gonna make one more right here, around, all right, and next I'm going to put some purple, and you know I'm going to just put it right on top of the pink so I don't have to use another pleat. Use the same one, dip it, OK, 
Okay, looks good. Got a little bit too much on the end, but that's all right. And right over here, I'm putting it right on top of the pink. All right. Now you can get a little creative. I am going to use, let's see, how about some yellow and some green? Here, I'm gonna just put a little bit of paint on the side. It's gonna come out. I might be out of this paint. All right, hang on one second. Let's try this other yellow I have. And in the meantime, you can also grab some Q-tips if you don't have a paintbrush. Just a little bit of yellow and I'm gonna use Q-tips to paint now. Just dip it in here in the yellow. I'm going to use this to make the center some dots. Maybe some more dots. Maybe a little bit more. It looks a little bit like a square, so make it circle. Okay, and why don't we do it on the other one too? whole bunch of dots. This is fun too. You use your finger if you've got finger paints. Okay. And then how about some green? I'll make some stems. I'm also going to use, still going to use the Q-tips for this. Oily. Just mix that up a little bit. Okay, got my green, and I'm just gonna wish it just like that. Wish and a line there to the end. And how about some leaves? We could make some leaves. And maybe one here. I'm not really sure what kind of flower this is. Just be whatever you want. And how about another leaf here? Could put some grass coming up. Just be creative. You could do whatever you want. Have you gone outside? and planted anything. I've planted some spinach and beans and radishes. Also planted some flowers. So hopefully those start growing soon. Okay, there we go. And there is a little flower painting made using nothing but cardboard and Q-tips. All right, so thank you so much for joining me for Crafternoon. And next week, we're going to make a Mother's Day gift. Let me show you what we'll be making. We'll be making these um, jewelry trays or ring, ring trays, I think. Um, so all you'll need is colored clay. I use polymer clay which is an oven baked clay. They come in little two ounce packets. Um, you can use whatever colors you want. For these, I use black, white. Um, one, of you, one of these uses blue and purple and the other one uses some pink and blue. 
and the ones I got are pearlescent, but again, you can make them using whatever colors you want. All right, thank you again, and I hope you have a great weekend.